Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. How is everyone doing? Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. Wow, we've already got one like. So I'm sitting here quick and gave a like to the stream. So welcome to everyone. The chat is still, uh, the chat is still blank. So that's so weird. There's another one like came in here, but the one like came in right. Let me just get my phone and let's share out the link to let everyone know on Facebook and Twitter that we are live. <clears throat> How is everyone doing? Hopefully everyone's well. Let's get this link here. Let's get the link and everything sorted out. And hopefully I can answer all of your questions and we can have a good discussion on here. Maybe be on for about 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Right. Uh, how is everyone doing? Right, just sorry about the echo. I'm just checking the stream's looking all right. Copied. Right. Right, so how is everyone doing? It says we've got two people watching, maybe the chat's a little bit delayed. But it says we've got two people watching. Mm -hmm. Right, so that should be on the Facebook group live now. Yeah, that should be good. Let's just go to Twitter. Let me just get everything sorted with the link so everyone can come in here and we can have a really good discussion so if there's any questions pop them in the chat and i will answer them i never um shy away from any questions whatever you want to know i will answer where are we now at cure i floaters on twitter don't know how you do the links on instagram don't think you can actually link in your story maybe you have to be verified account or something how does that work on instagram oh, i could put the link in the bio uh let's do that live now so everyone can come in here and get all their questions answered do 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 bear with me one minute i will get to the chat in just one minute uh, bear with me here probably type something wrong now <laughs> right Hashtag I floaters treatment. I floaters draw floaters, I floaters treatment. Right, that should be good. Right, that should be good. Live now. Right, let's get off this phone now. Very distracting. Everything's shared. I'm just sharing the link out on Facebook and Twitter, you know, so everyone can come in to the live stream and no one misses it. Vasi, nice to see you here again. Nice and early, nice to see you here. Right, so that should be good. Yep, right, let's put the phone away. Right, hey man, I have flu in fluenza B and notice my VS got so much thicker. Can you give me some tips? I also have bad floaters from UV itis. So, hey man, I have flu in B. So, anything to do with a flu, I will say the first thing you want to do is high vitamin C. What I would say is, um, what, see, if flu, so whenever I have a, whenever I have a flu, what I do is in the morning, afternoon and night i have 1000 
mg that's milligrams of vitamin c uh, and that's for the, that's sort of for a flu i would do vitamin c and zinc for the flu and then you want to be having honey lemon and ginger teas and you know if you want to get rid of a cold flu pathogen virus any illness that's causing mucus you want to get rid of it quickly what i always do is a three day sort of fast so i only have fruits and salads as meals with lots of herbals and lots of drinks and things like that that really targets the the, the cold then because when you're eating heavy meals your body's got to digest that then it's not killing the cold and getting rid of the virus so uh, a fast is very important now for the visual snow now visual snow is obviously something that is, is a lot harder but let's say easing the symptoms making the visual snow less you know less bad less severe what i'd say for the visual snow is i would say low sugar diet low carb diet because once then insulin levels come down and glucose levels come down it won't be as pixelated try and keep cortisol low and adrenaline low because i've noticed whenever adrenaline hormone and cortisol hormone go up the eyes become really pixelated and the vs gets worse see i am a sufferer of visual snow but not always like if i look here now yeah it's a bit pixelated but when i'm stressed when i'm tired the visual snow is really crazy and especially if you're and you've got to watch out for in food msg i'll write it in the chat avoid msg that is mono sodium glutamate that for me will give me very bad visual snow and a migraine so i'm very prone to migraines so i've got to watch out for things other ingredients avoid um as par tame now i don't know how to spell the other one ascus fame do you spell that now oh come on and avoid copy uh avoid school's fame they are very bad for my oh what have i done now oh there you go think i don't know if i can there right um Avanesh, how is it going? It's been a long time. Nice to see you back making videos. How is it going, Avanesh De Silva? How is it going, Avanesh? Uh, how are things with Corona and the UK? Not good at all. Um, not good because today it's been announced we have had over one. Oh no, what did I? Did I just remove something there? But I say avoid. I just removed that. Sorry. We have had over one thousand two hundred twenty-eight deaths and 20,000 cases so there's 20,000 people in the UK with coronavirus and 1,228 have died as of today so not good at all but we are on lockdown now it's not like as strict as other countries we can go out for one exercise per day and one essential shop per day so we can sort of go out twice a day um but yeah the management has been good the NHS is doing okay but you know, soon they might start running short on uh, ventilators and breathing apparatuses and that, and it's, and it's quite, quite sad, really. I know Spain are having a really, really bad time with it. In Spain, there's actually, they have to make a decision, right? Older people, they have to sadly um, let pass away if they can't beat coronavirus because they have to prioritise life support machines, breathing um mechanisms for the younger people it's very sad uh how is it there in belgium avanesh i think you're from belgium aren't you avanesh how is it over there i could be wrong i think it's um belgium yes facido but the thing is with visual snow you want to control your hormones you want to try and be more ireland oh you're from ireland you know i must be getting you mixed up with someone i think i'm getting you mixed up with lakshan because I've got someone on here called Lakshan. I think he has your same surname. He might not. You're from Ireland. Oh, which part of Ireland are you from? We've probably talked about this before. I think we've talked about this before, Avanesh. Which part of Ireland are you from? You know that um, I'm Irish. Obviously, I was born in England, in the UK. But obviously, all my dad's side are Irish. Irish. Waterford. Very, very nice. Waterford. Yeah, so we're all from Cork City. Yeah down in lap little place called lap e l e a p yeah really nice um island 
how is it there with coronavirus? I don't think it's too many cases just yet, is there? I don't know. Hello and welcome to Shahid Ali from Peshawar, Pakistan. How is everything over there with coronavirus? Hello to Han Amanta. I probably pronounced your name wrong. Han Amanta Halavar. Welcome to the stream. How to control eye flows as well. First of all, uh, I would say is avoid all the junk, you know, get rid of uh, fizzy drinks, you know, fast food, all that sort of stuff. You want to be having high antioxidant foods, blueberries, raspberries, uh, ackee berry. You want to get lots of that into you. And you want to have cod liver oil, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin C. Uh, keep the sugars low, keep the carbs low. That's the best for control of floaters. And obviously blue light blocking uh, glasses, blue light blocking filters. Try and take breaks from the PC and look further into the distance. That's sort of management, management and sort of slowing the progression of the floaters. Did I have that PDF? I don't know if the link. Oh no, I've got to be something else now. Let me get that link for a minute. Right, I'm just getting a PDF, so hopefully the stream hasn't glitched because I've just got another tab. Just bear with me, share. Copy the link. Loading, loading, loading. What's all that? Uh, copy, copy. Now I need to work on a few new PDFs. I need to do a supplement PDF where I list all of the top 10 supplements and links where you can buy them, like where everyone can access them all across the world. Obviously not my supplements. I haven't got any supplements. <laughs> supplements that i take you know from different brands sort of like nutriseed is one um, my protein bulk powders hi hello to varsari varsari virginia i can pronounce your surname <laughs> welcome to v Vasari, welcome to Vasari, welcome to the stream. Hi, can vitamin C help on clearing the eye flows? Well, I would say you want to be taking lots of vitamin C now, obviously for flus, colds and coronavirus. But in terms of eye flows, directly on its own, I don't know. But I do know it's very good for the retina. It's very good for protecting the retina, especially the vessels, the blood vessels of the retina. It's very good for that. Operation Eye Flow is Cure, where there is a vitrectomy, which is obviously the most invasive one, because they go in there, take out the vitreous, put um, a new fluid and gel in, which is sort of uh, the vitrectomy. But it's, it's not as simple as that. It takes quite a long time because they have to get your vitreous out. They have to drain it. They put a big needle in the white part of your eye. It's, uh, very very invasive a lot of people have dry eyes after it uh, some even have a bit of visual acuity loss uh, detachments can occur so it's quite quite invasive quite uh, dangerous then there's laser vitrolysis two types of laser you've got YAG laser and the Elix laser but they don't clear transparent eye floaters they only clear the black ones but they break them up so they're not really a full cure but they just sort of break them up. But just generally, over time, the black ones will become more grey and more lighter. That's what's happened to me sort of over two and three years, really, over three years. I think about three years, two years and probably nine months, I think, around that time. Yeah, so if there's any questions, you know, feel free to pop loads of questions in there. Don't feel bad at all. You can boom, boom, boom. That's what this live stream is for. You know, fire away the questions, you know, any questions. It can be about anything, really. If you've got any sort of diet related questions, anything, I do do a lot of research. And if I need to go to the notepad, 
I will go to Notepad. Um, yeah, got a lot of uh, information on vitamin C, zinc. We could discuss coronavirus. Let's just check something we do on my phone actually. I don't know if the chat a bit delayed. I think the chat might be a bit slow because the stream's all right, but the chat seems a bit, you know, my response has come back, but the chat must be a little bit delayed. I don't know why. I think it is a bit delayed. Copy link. Um, can you, can you, uh, any questions? What was I going to say now? I was going to check something actually. Is there any messages sort of on Instagram or Facebook that I haven't got back to? I've tried to get back to everybody. It looks like I've got back to everybody. If there's anyone on here I haven't got back to, I do apologise. have been trying to get back to all of the messages. Now, if you want sort of information on any other sort of other stuff, check out that link. That sort of other things. But I don't mind talking about it on stream. You know, other uh, remedies. Can a high eye pressure cause eye flutters? Yes. This is the thing. Um, high eye pressure is one thing and high blood pressure, right? Always this thing. Most people that have glaucoma, after about three to six months, always develop eye flutters because what happens is, right, there's all of that pressure in there and then, then you get swelling right, which pushes on the crystalline, and then it pushes on the side of the vitreous, which is just behind your lens, and that's why some people get a bit blurry vision sometimes, cloudy vision, and damage to the side vision, but they do all get eye flutters as well because of the inflammation in the eye, yeah, and that's why if you have uveitis, again, it's another inflammation, anything that's going to swell, it's got a push, and it's only a tight space in your eye, so that's why, that's why I keep saying that people, even sugar, Keeping sugar in uh, in right amounts is so so crucial because you know high sugar, high insulin, swells, inflammatory again, and especially all the rubbish that we eat. Some of the ingredients out there, you know, they got to circulate the whole body. They cause damage to the retina and the eye. Could be very very careful. Channel. Oh, I did have it added in my channels. I didn't know I had it there. Okay, community. Community tab. Playlists, all the playlists. Oh yeah, what video, obviously, feel free to ask me um, questions in the chat, but what videos would you like me to create? Is there any videos that you'd like me to remake with more information or uh, Hello and welcome Chris Calico. Welcome Chris to the stream. How do you think home remedies should dissolve eye floaters? How do they get into the eye? There is no blood flow inside the vitreous, isn't it? Right. Very, very good question. Now, let me just get to that. Now, first of all, in terms of blood flow and blood supply, the vitreous is a closed system. Now, how the uh, home remedies help is, this is what I've done from research. Obviously, the medical and the scientific industry won't back this up. So, you know, most people would take that over my word. But as you know, this is an alternative view, a different type of channel. So I will give you, you know, my take on it. So in the eye, there is a high alloyed canal. Now, the high alloyed canal goes right through the vitreous. And on the side of that, there is crossover of liquids, right? Which can get absorbed and go into the vitreous. That is what has had been researched 
that is what hasn't been looked at because they've just said, right, here's the vitreous, it's a closed door system. No one has done an in depth research on the high alloyed canal. Now, there are some eye doctors out there that have, and they will tell you certain things like papain, serapeptase, uh, what else we got? So, enzymes, enzymes get through the barrier. Enzymes can get into the vitreous because it's very weird that collagen levels and high hyaluronic acid levels affect the vitreous. How would they affect it if it doesn't get in there? So, obviously, the blood flow and blood supply goes to the retina and then it's sort of like a barrier there and serapeptase, papain, hyaluronic acid and even some vitamins maybe can actually go along the high alloyed canal and get into the vitreous and also there's a lymphatic system. Did you know only up until a few years ago it was always said there's no lymphatic system in the brain, no lymphatic system. Three years ago they found out there was a lymphatic system. All the old medical books all the old science books will tell you there is no lymphatic system in the brain. However, whoo, some new research. They said there's gaps between these cells. What's between these spaces? And they found out there was a lymphatic system. So there's so much about the human body that still hasn't been shown and proven yet. So all of what I'm saying and other natural remedy channels, natural health channels, seem mad at the moment, seem crazy at the moment, but three, five years, 10 years, probably will get proved right. That's what usually happens because you can't have 200, 300 people crazy, right? So everyone on the Facebook groups, are they crazy? Everyone on all line, right? Let's say 500 people all say that their floaters have got power with diet and lifestyle. Placebo? Really? 500 people? No way. Coincidences don't happen when you're, you're, you're all doing that same method, you know, the diet, the nutrition, the lifestyle. No way. Maybe in the medical community, the uh, coincidence can happen, but uh, not not when you're so direct and everyone's following the same procedure. And if it didn't work, this wouldn't be a channel. You wouldn't have Facebook pages. You wouldn't have Facebook groups. You would literally have people that would try a diet. wouldn't work. Try a supplement. It wouldn't work. However, it does work. So you've got to start wondering, well, how's this happening? How's this happening? Everything's like a chain reaction. Everything's like a domino effect. And even this is what I also say, even to the people that don't believe anything can get inside the vitreous, can it get outside? Can you affect the, the retina? Yes, you can. Can you affect the macula? Yes, you can. Because we know there's concentrations of vitamin A, retinol and zinc all found up in the eye. Do we know that vitamin C, vitamin E and selenium can help the retina? Of course. Is the retina a tissue? Yes, the retina is a tissue. What strengthens tissue? Is the collagen up there? Yeah. Is the hyaluronic acid up there? Yes. Can you can you look at sugar levels? This is what annoys me, right? This is where it gets crazy. When people have diabetes, they only find out they've got retinopathy when it starts um, when the uh, when the blood vessels start growing over the blood vessels that have died. So new replication of blood vessels, right? But the saddest thing is that's been a process doesn't just happen. They've had pre-diabetes and high blood sugars and they haven't even seen it. The OCT, all these eye technologies haven't picked up the microscopic changes until it's too late, right? This is what I always say. If all of these, if diabetics, right, when you've got diabetes, high blood sugar, high insulin levels, there's severe damage going on to the eyes, right? You've got macular degenerations increased, you've got retinopathy, You've got um, macular pucker, macular holes, fluid leaks. But what's all of that from? High sugar levels, high blood levels. You don't just develop diabetes over, overnight. You have really high blood sugar, really high insulin, a long period of pre-diabetes, maybe six to eight months, and then diabetes. Some people have 10 years of pre-diabetes. Wow. But they don't think that a high blood sugar is going to cause any damage. What do you mean? Why why is it not going to cause damage? I tell you, it's causing damage. If you had a big microscope and you went right inside, you would see all of the cells getting destroyed and ruined. You know, but what can we do? eh? (laughs) We just got to rely on the medicine at the moment. You know, 
the same advice that tells you to eat, what is it, 300 carbohydrates a day. Oh, you can keep your sugars at, what, 60 grams or something. 60 grams of sugar. Yeah. Oh, there's even, there even, there's a snack section on the eat well plate. The, na- the, the dietary guidelines. Oh, yeah, have a bit of can of soda there. Oh, it doesn't matter, you know. Only a little bit of sugar, right? Only a little bit. Always only starts with a little bit, doesn't it? Mm. Well, thanks a lot. That makes sense. I mean, lots of the medicine that has been created is made of natural ingredients too, right? Absolutely, Chris. You look at most medicines. The zinc. Zinc's in them. Selenium's in them. Calcium's in them. Magnesium's in them. All these vitamins and minerals. Sometimes they come from the plants. But guess what? Medicine doesn't treat the cause. Medicine treats the symptom. If you ever look at any illness or disease, it treats the symptom. It doesn't treat the root cause. Uh, I mean, doctors got their books and stuff and that's it. Exactly. They never get trained on nutrition. Doctors, none of them get trained on nutrition. In the universities, they get trained on the medical books and the medical literature. but it can take months to years till those remedies have an effect on individuals. Yes, but you can start seeing a slowdown in eye flows coming now. You can stop eye flows coming as quick. You'll just even notice it. Vision, do, do you know what I say to everyone? Just, just try it out. Three weeks, right? Healthy keto diet, three meals per day, right? Healthy fats, protein, no added sugar, really low carb, right? Have lots of vitamin C. Have lots of zinc, you know, take the cod liver oil supplements, do the blueberries and raspberries and, and the shakes. And uh, that's that's the natural fruit that you can have blueberries and raspberries because they're high in fiber. Um, but don't shoot up the sugar, just do all those things and, and come back to me and tell me. That's what I tell everyone. I say, you know what, just just come back to me. You try it out. I've tried it out. You try it out. All the other people try it out. And you may come back to me and say, the floats haven't changed. But one thing you won't say is, that there's been no change at all because you'll start telling me oh my dry eyes has gone away oh you know what my vision is actually quite good today i can see further in the distance it, it, I, I see the immediate effect you say i've always been very sensitive to food so if i go and eat a whole load of junk now everything starts getting ruined and all getting messed up yeah it's fascinating and the body you know it's very fascinating and sort of the minerals and vitamins, all the amounts that they say we should take are way off. They may just stop you from getting the scurvy, the rickets, but they don't go beyond, you know, they don't ever go beyond. Just about help you. But the crazy thing is, I take uh, 3,000 to 4,000 mg of vitamin C per day, you know? They say you're only meant to take 40 mg over here. You think I'm probably on 100, 200 grams of zinc or something like that. Yeah, selenium, everything I'm doubled. Whatever they say is the amount you should take. I double that. I'm sort of on double that. Where's that glitching like that? Where's that glitch? Oh, no, there we go. It's all right now. Yes, so. Immune system. Even now, though, even looking at coronavirus, right? People are going to tell you your immune system has no effect on coronavirus. There's not much you can do. You just got to wait for a drug or vaccine. Mm, That's interesting, isn't it? What about all of the people that have recovered from coronavirus? How'd they recover from coronavirus? No vaccine and no drugs. Must have been their immune system, right? What else was that? (laughs) What what else uh, helped them recover? Oxygen. We all have access to that. Maybe they have really good at Missy. It's, it's all very interesting, you know. It's all very interesting. But you get called crazy, don't you? You get called crazy when you start talking about vitamins and minerals. Oof. But when you start talking about medicine, then you're a genius. Everyone's going to listen to you then. Mm. Oh, actually, you know what? What's that drug that they talk about said that can help with the symptoms? Chloroquine, yeah? Let's have a little look at chloroquine. Right. Chloroquine, yeah? This is what they say that helps with coronavirus. Let's have a look at some, some side effects. Mild side effects. 
upset stomach, stomach pain, poor appetite, diarrhea, skin rash and itching. Right. Let's look at some moderate uh, side effects. Mood changes, hair loss. Let's look at some severe side effects of chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine. Blurred vision. Oh, this is not good for us. You ready for this one? If you take chloroquine in high amounts, damage to the retinal photoreceptors. That's the cells in the retina that don't, re that, that, uh, don't replicate. Wow. Trouble hearing, tinnitus, muscle weakness, vomiting, convulsions, sudden unusual movement, drowsiness, irregular heartbeat, breathing problems. Dear, dear, dear. I want a bit more news for you. On Tuesday, 24th March, a man in Arizona died after taking chloroquine phosphate. And also his wife is in a critical condition. Wow. That's the drug that's um, helping with symptoms of coronavirus at the moment. Right. I've gone off topic. I do apologise. I do apologise. I better read this chat and get back to uh, it. Sorry for going off topic. I do apologise. Right. Let me have a drink and I'll get back to the chat. I like your mindset. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Well, right. Now I'm trying the bromelain. Yes, definitely. You want papin, bromelain, serapeptase. They're the ones that you want. Wobenzyme. Oh, I don't know if I've come across that. Wobenzyme. Hmm. <laughs> Something that I might not know. Let me write that one in my phone notes. Is it spelled like that? I don't know if I've come across that enzyme. W O W O B E N. Mmm, very interesting. I haven't come across that. So that's obviously an enzyme. Is that like a prebiotic enzyme? Is that a digestive enzyme? Okay. And lots of greens like pulver and real vegetables, vitamin A. Yes. Now that's the interesting thing. That's another, it's where it gets a bit more. Whoa, well, Benzom, I haven't heard of that before. I might look into that, you know. W O B E N, whoa, well, Benzom. Right, I'll do a bit of research on that later. Okay, so yeah, in terms of vegetables, vitamin A, right? There's nothing. When you see a list of vegetables that say they have vitamin A in, they don't. <laughs> they have carotenoids. Uh, a type of carotenoid that converts to vitamin A in the body, but the conversion rate is very low. And then there's some people that actually have a genetic uh, weakness and can't convert carotenoids to vitamin A. So I would say carotenoids, lutein and zeaxanthin, amazing for the eyes. But if you want to get your vitamin A, you've got to go with the cod liver oil, the fish, you know, because in animal products, when you eat fish, salmon, uh, sardines, the vitamin A is actually in retinol. It's actually called retinol. And then it's actually used straight away in the body. It doesn't have to convert to retinol. Yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, it doesn't have to convert to retinol. Wobenzyme is a mix of different enzymes, right? It also contains bromelain. That is very good. That's very good. Because I've got one down there. I've got a uh, papin. Sarah Pat says all the other little ones as well. Yeah, the enzymes definitely make a big difference. Zinc is very important as well. Zinc, if you want to get zinc, make sure it's zinc acetate. Make sure it's zinc acetate. Zinc oxide's all right as well. But zinc citrate is it's poor, really. It's not like the natural zinc that you would get. A lot of people would like to take supplements, and there's only one. It's not like the whole complex of the supplement. It's like, imagine a supplement, yeah? It's got big four things off it in chemistry, but the supplement only has one of them. So it sort of doesn't happen. It's even like um, tocopherols, which is vitamin E, basically. It's like there's alpha, there's beta. There's three types of tocopherols, actually. Yeah, the same thing as vitamin E. Very, very interesting. Ascorbate. Ascorbic acid is all right because that is sort of vitamin C. You can't really do too much there. B12. 
but then if you do look at fruit like sort of the chemistry there is like school bait but a different type of it but it's, it should be in the most most super, most vitamin c usually works because even like if they give intravenous you can see like straight away it helps people so i think ascorbic acid on its own is even all right um vasari do you know how long does vitreous hemorrhage take to heal my eye surgeon told me that this is the cause of my eye flutters that i started to notice after my oh no oh we were talking about this yesterday lasik surgery do you know what <laughs> i am yet to talk to anyone that has had a positive experience with lasik wow lasik is a mess honestly another person again sad lasik is just it's terrible honestly again again i can't believe this everyone that talks to they have lasik one month later they've got eye flutters two months they've got dry eyes three eyes they've got problem with their retina then they've got problem with their uh crystalline which is the lens what do them lasers do they're deadly uh right so you've had a vitreous hemorrhage now what would i say obviously you've had a hemorrhage you fully clear out but if you've had a hemorrhage that's blood vessels you want to be getting collagen you want to take a good collagen supplement high hyaluronic acid vitamin c because that strengthens all the epithelial and selenium get a lot of selenium you really want selenium i should write them in the chat for you for sorry selenium uh let's think now vitamin c hyaluronic acid what else let's think now let's think vitreous hemorrhage so you've got the vessels blood vessels keep the sugar low keep all of that low and the omega-3 fatty acids definitely a lot of omega-3 fatty acids vitreous hemorrhage at the same time i was told that my retina is okay you're lucky that's good that's good the retina that's the most important thing that's the tissue you know um that's good that your retina is okay because you see retina is it's, it's a bit risky is that there's a there's not a lot of regeneration you know there is in the blood vessels but in the photoreceptor cells which are important for vision there's no regeneration you want to keep them you know quite good and people laugh that's another thing there's people that don't believe that blue light's bad you know but you can actually see long exposure to blue light this is science um i don't know if i have the link now but there's studies out there long exposure to blue light increases sort of um the replication of photoreceptor cells like too quick and then they die off apoptosis or the cell death but yeah definitely for the retina you want to have lots of vitamin a lots of selenium no one talks about selenium it is so important selenium and vitamin c really important because that gets to the deep microscopic level layers even a lot of uh you know heart attack patients people who sort of uh, the arteries selenium and vitamin c is very very good for that and then obviously vitamin d is important so you, you want calcium absorbed that's another thing you know if you're taking vitamin d you want vitamin d you want vitamin k2 because the vitamin k2 basically right calcium right if you have calcium in your body the vitamin d will help uh absorb that the vitamin k2 will actually help transport it because a lot of the time people have high vitamin uh high calcium and it just sits in arteries and starts calcifying it doesn't get moved that's because you have vitamin k2 vitamin k2 is important like i would never have high vitamin d levels without uh vitamin k2 it's very dangerous especially for calcium uh, yeah that's good i take vitamin c e and a very very good definitely your vitamin e is important as well but selenium try and get the selenium you want the selenium do you know see and i wouldn't suggest ginkgo biloba i wouldn't suggest that i would suggest uh take lots of, because of the vitreous hemorrhage don't take any ginkgo biloba a lot of people take ginkgo biloba for eye flowers but you should never take that if you've had a vitreous hemorrhage 
So, you know, for, for healthy blood flow, you want to have a lot of ginger. Do it the natural way. Do ginger. Have a lot of ginger teas and turmeric. Get the inflammation down with turmeric and let the ginger help your blood. So do ginger and turmeric teas. That's very important. And your body's very amazing. You know, I think when it comes to serious things, if you've got the willpower, a fast is very important. Like a whole day where you just say, right, no, no, you know, no food. You're just going to have water. You're going to have teas with honey, lemon and ginger. You're going to have your supplements and just let your body fix itself. You know, just let your body get into the autophagic state, autophagy, and just let your body start healing itself from the inside out. Um, Chris, so my last question, did you hear about sufferers who also got rid of big grey floaters, got one big one and lots of long snakes, right? The snakes are called threads, cobwebs, but I know what you're talking about. I've got a lot of them. Now, in terms of the black dot eye floaters, now I had a really big jet black dot eye floater, right? That was sort of in the middle of a transparent one. Let me just get some light on here. One minute. Right, so. Right, yeah. In my left eye, I have this big, long, transparent one, and I have a big jet black eye flow, but it's no longer jet black, right? It was jet black, and I would say over. It took six months to start grey, going grey, and start thinning out. That's what you should realise. Your floaters that are, are grey should start actually thinning out, right, and splitting apart. So they're thinning out, they're dissolving almost. That's what you should notice with the black and grey ones. But the strands, however, they should thin out, but they take longer. They take a lot longer to thin out. For me, the most annoying one is the transparent one. And I still don't understand. I think I have ideas why the transparent ones don't seem to get too affected. They seem to stay the same. I think it's because it's sort of in the middle of the vitreous. You see, all these enzymes in that can maybe only get to a certain part of the vitreous. They're the high alloy canal. They can't get right deep back. But black eye flows and strands, I do believe, can be eased, reversed and prevent, prevented in certain people. Everyone's different, you know, everyone's different. Thanks for all you do, man. Please keep it up. Any more word on how the pineapple has turned out? Thank you very much. Northern, Northerner, no, Northern Blood 78. Thank you very much. Northern Blood 78 it means a lot. With the pineapple study, uh, they haven't really done another one, but it's the most successful study at the moment that we have on a natural remedy. It was a lot of positive. There's not been really a follow up yet, but if there is, I will let you know. Looks really bright. The sun's sort of coming on the camera there. Oh, it's too dark. What do I look into? Is that all right? Do I? Look at me. Go something looks weird. Look at that. I'm a ghost now. Right. Here we are. So, um, wow, 43 minutes. That's actually gone quick. <laughs> That's gone very quick. 43 minutes. So, yes, any questions, any questions at all, it doesn't matter, you know? Don't even feel like you're being rude, just fire the questions. Boom, 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 boom. Should I stop drinking milk? Now, what I'd ask you is, what milk do you drink? Where is your milk from? What type of milk is it? Is it cow's milk, goat's milk? Is it from like an actual cow that's eaten grass, processed? I would say stop that. Yeah, go for a soya milk. But if you do want to have natural milk, make sure it's from a grass fed cow. So make sure the cow has actually lived on grass like a cow. Yeah has had the grass, no preservatives, no corn. You don't want corn fed, you know? If it's been corn fed, the milk's gonna have GMOs in and be all processed and rubbish. I, I wouldn't suggest that. I got the feeling that the big spot I got is actually even bigger, is lots of strands I can't really see. They're much lighter. You know, Chris, um, yeah, I don't see, this is the thing, there was someone that messaged me, right? And they said, it was actually quite worrying because there was someone that messaged me, they had small black dots, right? 
and all them small, small black dots binded together and became a bigger dot. That has never happened to me. And that's only happened to one person out of like 400, 500 people I spoke to. See, this is where it gets interesting, right? This is why we need more research. How on earth? What was going on in there? See, this is where there must be, there must be proteins. There has to be ions, you know? You can't just have a clumping up. Why, why does it clump up? Why is there not an answer on that? No, no eye doctor can ever answer you that. Why do some floaters break, break up? Why does some clump together? Why? Like, why? Why? Obviously, it's collagen. Are they trying to clump up and move out? You see, it gets, it's, it's really interesting, you know. The vitreous is fascinating. And this is why I hate it when people just write it off. Do you know, some people that will just say, right, no natural remedies can work. Nothing can work, right? That's what they say. And then they say it's closed off and just leave it. But what's going on inside? Like, don't don't ever be dogmatic. Keep researching and keep trying to understand it until we actually get a proper industry that can do it. VDM research, hopefully, you know, three to five years. Hopefully I have some answers. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of ideas for research, a lot of ideas that hopefully people um, can carry out proper, you know, scientists and people that are qualified to do it. I used it in shake process. There is no bio milk in shops. Ah, you see what I mean? Mm, it's not the worst thing, you know what I mean? Not the worst thing. I would say junk foods and the sugars and the fizzy drinks are worse. Milk, you can be a bit more lenient with. But it depends how processed it is. Ah, it's a hard one. Yes, lutein is very good. Yeah, lutein, zeaxanthin, all the carotenoids, you want all of them. Mm. Obviously, you can eat lots of carrots. Uh, what's the vegetable? Cabbage is good. Broccoli is good. See, I don't really suggest uh, spinach. I know it's really high in zeaxanthin, but I don't believe it's good. Uh, I actually don't believe it's a healthy food. I don't really believe spinach is healthy. I don't like the buzz of it. Not at all. Because when you look at it, the amount of phytic acid and phytates that are in spinach, like goodness me, the phytates. No one talks about them. Uh, if there was one vitamin you would suggest to take daily for fading floaters, what would you suggest? Oh, Northern Blood. <laughs> that's that's a tough. I did just say fire away the questions. That's a hard one, you know. If there was just one vitamin, one vitamin. Where would I go for that? That's a hard one. One vitamin. Vitamin, yeah, I could just say that, that's for the I. Vitamin C, I'm going to go with the good old vitamin C. Just because it's an antioxidant and it can do so much in there. Closely followed by vitamin E and then vitamin A. Oh yes, eggs are good. As long as they're organic eggs, eggs are fine. That's sort of what I do a lot of. Uh, most of my diet really is eggs. You know, and they've got lutein in, by the way. Um, when you're on a keto diet, it's sort of, you know, high um, healthy fats and protein. And that's another drama. I think I did a video about that, you know, before people start saying the keto diet is unhealthy. Eggs are bad for your heart. Really? Have a look at those studies that say that. They haven't even used organic eggs. And the people that they tested in have high sugar. If you're going to have high protein and high sugar, of course you're going to get glycation. How about you take the sugar away and just look at eggs on their own? Doesn't really have that much effect on cholesterol it's not inherently bad see when you see an artery blocked up right with cholesterol what else is it blocked up with calcium do we say calcium is bad no white blood cells macrophages you know in like a uh, an atherosclerotic plaque you know if someone's arteries are hard and they've had a heart attack it's not just cholesterol there and you've got to start thinking to yourself why is the cholesterol there the cholesterol's not there because you've eaten high amounts of cholesterol. The cholesterol's there to repair the bleeds, to repair the damage. It's a band-aid. It's like a it's a plaster. It's a, it's a it's a bandage, right? Your body makes three thousand mg of cholesterol a day. So let's say you had no cholesterol now. Oh, look at me, unhealthy. Your body still is making cholesterol. <laughs> three thousand milligrams per day. Oh, that's a lot. 
Yeah, I don't really worry about cholesterol and things like that. Don't have any, man. Don't have any worry about things like that. Yes, I guess the big spot I have is a combination of different strands. See, now you're making me think maybe you're the second person now to say that. I've got to write this down, you know, that that's two people now. See, why is it binding? Binding, I don't know, why is it binding? Making it look big. See, you see, you know, this is what I'd love. I wish we could have studies and a trial. See, you might be having a binding. Hmm. Binding. See, see, there we go. See, you know, definitely do the natural remedies. You definitely really have a, do you know what I say? Everyone should just experiment. It's your body, your choice. You know, it's your risk, isn't it? <laughs> you know, try things out. It's just natural remedies and food. See what happens to those eye flows. Really test it, right? Have a set light and a set wall. Always try and use the same petition. Chris, I really want, you know, you to try this out, right? Definitely, you know, every day start saying, oh, OK, let's have a look at the floaters here. Let's have a look at the floaters here, you know. Track it maybe over seven days or two weeks. And then also look into the distance. Cover this eye, cover that eye. And your your, your vision should get a lot better. If, you, if you're getting the omega-3 fatty acids, you're eating salmon sardines mackerel oh, if you're eating those fish hopefully you like fish um oh and a lot of people don't like this organ meats kidney and liver oh, powerful right and don't, don't say oh it's this and it's that look at the ancestors do you want to go back to our ancestors they were eating kidney and liver a lot a lot of kidney and liver but we may have some vegetarians on here mm, they won't be able to do that all the vegans do you know, I get a lot of vegans messaging me now. A lot of vegans message me. But I'm not making any, I'm not making any assumptions. But there are a lot of vegans that message me that suffer from eye floaters, you know. <laughs> and they don't like it when I ask them, when did they start getting eye floaters? <laughs> and then they answer me when they started getting them. <laughs> and then they start telling me when they started the diet. Anyway, um... That, that's that's another topic. That's another day. <laughs> Goat man, any ideas to get rid of black strands? Now, goat man, totally off topic. You know goats, right? The animal goats produce thirteen thousand three hundred mg of vitamin C per day. Woo! High vitamin C. Any ideas to get rid of black strands? Keto diet and all of what I've been talking about today, and what was in that PDF. Check that out, um, goat man. Check that PDF out. Can you eye exercises cause more eye flutters? See, I'm very, very, very careful and very strict on this. I would say yes, if you're vigorously doing it, right? I believe you should always do natural eye exercises, but don't don't ever be too quick. And don't rub like, like there's nothing wrong with a massage, right? You know, with, with that, you know, that, that soft part, just very, very lightly on that. Actually, don't even do that. Just use your fingertips if you want to massage, maybe very lightly, but you shouldn't really be pushing into the eye. You shouldn't really, you know, they're very fragile, they're very delicate, you know. If you get hit hard enough, you can develop eye flows, you know. If you get hit hard enough in the side or in the front, you can actually develop um, flows. So it does make you think. How do you program your brain not to think about the floaters? Um, Alex, what I would say is the longer you have them, you do start to get a bit used to them, right? But I don't believe you can fully program your brain to totally ignore them. Unless, I don't know, would this work? You know, some people say you have to expose yourself to loads, big bright light and just stare at them all day. Try and get used to them and then maybe it'll be easier. But I don't think that works. Could try that. <laughs> um, yes, true. But I can just see those strands when I focus. Like them closing. But see, I have a lot of strands, right? I probably have about 25 in total eye floaters. I've got six transparent ones. That's the ones that look like an organism, six transparent ones. And I've got a lot of strands in what I would I say is worse. The right one. The right one, probably. I have a lot of strands, but the weird thing is my strands were really black, right? Really dark black, but now they're grey and they're fizzling out. They're sort of dissolving and fizzling out. So the opposite of what's happening to yours, yours are coming together. Mine are going apart. <laughs> um, I believe that those spots often are a combination of different proteins coming together. Definitely, there's all proteins up there, you know. Do you know, I found this interesting um, 
study once, right? There's a lot more proteins in that uh, vitreous, you know. I've just talked about high hyaluronic acid, collagen. But there's um, immunoglobin, there's glucosamine. Trust me, you know, if you've got an open mind, you've got to research, you've got to search everything in Google. You've got to go eye floaters, um, vitreous anatomy, go really deep into the vitreous. Like, what the heck? And sometimes I think to myself, how did it all get in that vitreous, you know? Is it fully closed off? I wouldn't be, okay, it has no blood supply. You know, we're not going to be ludicrous. There is no blood supply to the vitreous. But does that mean that there's no fluid supply? There's other parts of your body that don't have a blood supply and there's a fluid retention. Look, mucous membranes. Look at cells. Look at cells, right? You know, they have um, all diffusion. There's things going on inside the cell. There's no blood there. Obviously, blood outside. The eye, there's blood outside. You know, it gets very interesting. Uh, have you been able to... Con- have you been able to completely dissolve any of your eye floaters? Um, Northern blood, I had 12 black dots, right? Now, I had seven small black dots in the left eye. I had five small black dots in the right eye. When I did all of this fasting, right, fasting, you know, real water fasting, real detox, real juicing, I got rid of all of them. And I can actually say that. I know 100%, whether you believe me or not, I know I can go to the white wall and then exact ones are not there. I know that 12 small black dots, gone, completely gone, definitely gone. The strands have been thinned and dissolved. They haven't gone yet. And I say yet because I am positive that hopefully somehow, some way, they will dissolve enough. But small black dots I got rid of. Now, there is the argument. What if there were blood floaters? Could some of you have blood floaters? Could they be floaters outside? Could they be in the uvea? Could they be retina? They could be. I don't know, do I? <laughs> Can steroid drops from UV itis treatment or even eye injection cause floaters? I got seven after the injection. Do you know what? Ah, uh, see, this is where it gets interesting, right? You know, a steroid, a small amount of a steroid, can sort of take inflammation down, right? But too much of a steroid can cause inflammation. It's like in your body, cortisol, right? You know, most of uh, you know most of the most of the steroids have cortisol in them. I would hate to say it, Fuzzy, but it could do it. Honestly, it really could do. The eye injections, anything that's causing it, it could cause inflammation after. You know, it could take down the inflammation. But then, what happens later? What happens when the injections wear off? Boom! Inflammation starts coming up. For you, I would really say lots of ginger, lots of turmeric, you know, drink that in teas and that. You want to be like, you want to have a mad antioxidant diet. You want to have a whole week, yeah, where you're eating blueberries, raspberries, green juices, um, lemon, ginger. You want all of that. You want to get your body in a state where inflammation's low, sugar's low, and you will notice amazing effects on the eyes, definitely. Well, you should do anyway. You hope to. I would. And I'd a lot of people would hopefully you know, that the body does that as well. Everyone's body is different now. Um, Oh, we've got eight people watching and three likes. Thank you to everyone that is uh, watching. Thank you for the three likes. Never really look up at the likes much. I should do. Thank you to the three that has clicked the uh, like button. You know, likes are a good way. Obviously, likes are a good way of knowing that people are enjoying the content. Yeah. I don't know if the... Yeah, the... It is, a, it is a good way. And comments, I like it, you know. Thank you to everyone that actually comments on the um, videos as well. There's a lot, you know, I like that. I love the discussion and that. And if you look across my comments, you can see there's always debates going on down there, but most of it's positive, right? That's what I say. You, this is a big channel, right? We've got a lot of people on this channel. If I was talking uh, nonsense, surely it would be, um, be pointed out. But, um, something's working how why do we fully know no but do we know that certain things work yes does the pineapple theory work um probably in it it's not a one fix all it will help but if you're doing a full round diet that's what i say like sometimes you've just oh we've hit a one hour mark we are on here one hour has only gone to half an hour 
but it doesn't matter anyway. We're having a good chat, so it's all right. I'll be on here for a bit um, longer. What I would say is, right, we're all in isolation now. We're all in quarantine, right? We've got time on our hands for one week, right? What's the harm in just experimenting, you know? You know, just track your fats, proteins and carbs, right? Say, right, I mean, I'm going to do fats and proteins to make up my calories. I'm going to have less than 50 grams of carbohydrates. I'm very lower. I'm even lower on that. My carbs are even lower. They're way down. But for you, I'll say less than 50 grams of carbohydrates. You want lots of fish. Just start having your meals like a breakfast. Have blueberries, raspberries, avocado salad at lunch. Have some fish or maybe have the avocado salad at lunch. Uh, what have we got? Eggs. You can have boiled eggs. You can have scrambled eggs. Dinner, you can have steak and all the vegetables, really. Broccoli, cabbage, kale. Just just try it, I would say. That's honestly what I would say. Just just try it. See what you notice. See how you feel. And if you if you actually make sure, right, to keep a diary, you know, of your feelings, um, energy levels. If you do fitness, right, have a look at your fitness levels, you know, push-ups, running, jogging. See how you're doing on that. And then with the eyes, you know, test your long distance. Right. There's a, you know, uh, you could use a board or you could use a sign. OK, mm, I could see it clearer yesterday or I can see it better today. OK, this eye is stronger, this eye is weaker because you always have a stronger and weaker eye. Um, and then just start seeing what's happening with your eyes. What you will notice is, what I notice is on the keto diet, when you're having lots of fish and fish oils, especially the fatty fish and the oily fish, the dry eyes become a distant memory, right? OK, if you're on the PC a lot and you're close up vision all day, you're going to naturally get dry eyes. But it will be less than on a high sugar diet. Do you know, if people are out there now, they can experiment, can't they? Because <laughs> I know I could. Right. Don't do this. Don't do this. But then if it's your normal diet, then just change it tomorrow and get healthy. But if you had a big Coca-Cola bottle, right, you downed all that. Crazy amounts of sugar. Diabetes in a bottle. Um, you had all that. Just just see your vision. Light sensitivity goes up. You're more light sensitive. In my opinion, that's a fact. Um, goodness me. Floaters are more noticeable. wonder why that is. There's swelling in the lens. Yeah, because your sugar's gone up. Oh, I can't see as far in the distance. Mm. And then imagine doing that every day. What do the general people do every day? Sugar, 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 sugar. Carbs, sugar. Some people eat six meals a day with about four snacks in between. Glucose down. That's their that's their glucose all day long and insulin. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Swelling, inflammation. Do that day by day. The eyes start to everything starts to basically rot and decay. Like people don't want to talk about it. But what's happening? Do you know what's happening? You gotta think, are you feeding your body? When you put food and water and anything into your body, it's chemistry, it's biology. Yeah, what are you putting in there? Does your body recognise it? Is it is it is it natural? <laughs> Do you think back in the day, 200, 300 years ago, the men running around, the indigenous people, were drinking Coca-Cola, <sighs> having a McDonald's, you know, having a burger, having fries? <sighs> it's mental, isn't it, really? Having all the white stuff. You know how many foods are white and packaged? It's crazy. <laughs> I've gone off one of my rants again. Oh dear. It should be Cormac Rants. <laughs> Does oh, there's not been too much in a chat actually. <laughs> I've actually missed too much. Do you think eat pineapple or take bromelain tablets? Mm, take bromelain tablets. It's easier, isn't it? And you can get the bromelain straight in. Take the bromelain tablets. With a keto diet, very effective. This is an amazing thing, right? Vitamin C, right? More absorption of vitamin C on a keto diet. I wonder why that is. Because sugar and vitamin C compete for the same receptor. The receptors in your body that eat vitamin C and take in vitamin C are the same ones that take sugar in. And um, I think we all know what it would choose. Sugar, sadly. So you want to keep your sugar low, have your vitamin C high, boom, you get all your vitamin C in. 
ฟักสนาเองฟักสนาเองอืม yeah but me I should do it in a day I, I'm gonna actually do it I will do it actually I'm actually gonna do it you know what I should do I should do I should actually do a vlog of a day in the life of what I eat what I drink and then um If people want to, your decision. You don't have to. You know, if people want to try it out, they can say, "Okay, I'm going to do what he does. Maybe change it a bit or try it out. That'd be good." Should put that on the to-do list. Ish, to-do. Right. Got the to-do board. That's going on there. Record. I lose. Diet vlogs. Boom. That's on there. Right. It's coming to you. Right. Well, actually, the thing is, um, how does your eye floaters affect your driving? With me, I don't seem to notice them at all. <laughs> I think it's because I'm so focused on the road. <laughs> Obviously, do you know what annoys me more when I'm driving? It's the bloody uh, reflections. Do you know when the sun is bouncing off a silver car in front of you, or you know when the road's wet and the sun's beating down there? Ah, oh, the after image is horrible. I'm like, oh dear, dear, dear. That that is more annoying. You know, maybe if you're driving up to a horizon, you see the flowers, but they're not they're not too annoying when you're driving. You know, hmm. Do does small mosquito-like black flowers that barely move from central vision go away? I would say so. Yes, they're the ones that will go away the quickest. That's what I found. The black small dot ones, like mosquitoes, should go away the quickest. I used to see one every month. Now every second. I used to see one every month. Now every second. They don't really float. They jump if you force them. See. There we go, Vassy. See, you're even onto something now. See, here we go. We don't really understand this, right? That's a very key point. There's some that just say central. It's like they're they're almost locked somewhere. My my transparent one that has the black dot. It will only go um obviously left side. It will only go here, 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 here. It will never clear out the vision. However, the strands I can get them to whoosh across here. I can get them to whoosh across here. We don't have any answers on why that. Why is that occurring? Very good point, that. Very, very good point. You know, um, I've done a lot of um, drawings and sort of figuring out things myself. I do believe that it obviously hasn't been discovered yet. There's no science on it. There's no medicine. But what if, yeah? What if the vitreous is sort of domed, like there's little, there's little dome layers in it, like you've got the middle section, yeah? Then you've got like a lipid layer that recovers it. Then you've got another layer. Then you've got another level. I, I, something's got to be going on in there like that. Mm, I think so. I think so. When did I take these off? I've just been sitting here looking for it for a while now. Oof. Oh, and by the way, when you're on keto, you don't have to count. Vegetable carbohydrates, yeah. <laughs> so don't don't worry about the carb or the carbohydrates in vegetables at all. Just want to put that out there. Vegetables unlimited, you know, because you've got antioxidants, you've got fiber in there. That ain't the sugar that's going to cause any damage to you. <laughs> However, fruit. Be careful with fruit. Don't go crazy with fruit. Berries are all right. Things like that. And if you do want to have a higher sugar fruit, have it in the morning. When your insulin is more sensitive, and it will go straight into the cells. Yep. What have we? What haven't we discussed now? Have we discussed most things? Do you know? Um, where are you watching from, and what time is it? Because I need to figure out. I want to do different live streams, you know, for different uh, subscribers for everyone around the world. I need to figure out a good time here in the UK. We have just um, gone into British summertime, so we're BST now. Actually, British summertime. The weird thing is, right? We start BST, British summertime, in spring. 
It isn't even summer yet until the 21st of June. But we start BST, which is a British summertime, which is very interesting. Any tips for relieving strong after images? Oh, I've always had a problem with that. Fassy after images are a hell of a annoying. But I will say to you this if your salt goes too high, it will make after images worse. If the salt goes too high, salt is a sort of a factor, right? If you have a lot of potassium and magnesium, it's not as bad, but there's not a complete cure, there's not a complete fix to the after images. I think it's just sadly how the eye was made up when we were born and genetics and birth and all of that you know uh, some people have a lot more uh, melanin you know they have a lot more melanin and a lot more pigment so it sort of disperses the color people that have a lot of after images sadly just get so much light that goes through to the retina ah right so we've got um vasi and the vasari are you both in india could be totally wrong could be totally wrong. Are you in India? I don't know. Man, man, you're probably not. You might be in different places, actually. 7.22 p.m. Yeah, so where are you watching from? Country. And what time is it? I need to figure this out. Oh, Romania. Right, I'm way off. Romania. Nice. I do want to visit um, Romania and Bulgaria. There's lovely, lovely scenery. I've watched a lot of um, travel shows. You know, there's lovely countryside, trees and that. Yeah. And sadly, there is a lot of poor parts as well. Um, and I've watched a lot of documentaries, you know, on government and things like that. There's not enough done for people, you know, lack of homes, lack of houses. But um, amidst all the problems, you've got a beautiful country. You have beautiful uh, landscape. The Republic of Moldova. Very nice. There's a lot of countries I haven't been to. I think I've only been to. I've been to Spain. I've been to Ireland. And the USA. I've only been to three countries. I think I've only actually been to three countries. <laughs> Maybe I forgot one. Obviously, the UK, where I live, Ireland, Spain, and America. Yeah, there's a lot of European countries that I need to go to. Save up money. Uh, at the moment, it's a mess with all this coronavirus. Hello, Emmanuel. How is it going, Emmanuel? I haven't seen you for a while. Or were you here yesterday? No, I remember you being here, but that was on a that was a bit ago to live stream, wasn't it? Emmanuel. So did you find any cure over these years? As I always say, as of now, I can't tell you there's a, a one fix all or a, a one cure all, sadly, but there is things that we can do to slow the progression that we get eye flowers and ease the symptoms. So more of a treatment. I wish I had a friend like you talkative. <laughs> you know, Vasi, I'm the same. I love people that talk and, you know, engage. But there's a lot of people nowadays that are very for themselves. Oh, they don't want to chat, you know. They're like this. Mm, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Get off your phone, you know. Sometimes you got to talk or at least do a video call maybe. Yeah, you, you know, it's good to have conversation and that. People may not always agree, but but it's always good to listen. That's the thing. In my YouTube comments, there's always people saying, you are wrong. You are this, you are this. And I say, you know what? I'm not going to delete the comment. I'm not going to report the comment. I'm going to leave the comment there. It's freedom of speech. I'll reply to you. You can reply to me. We do maybe four replies and that's it. No argument, no childishness, you know, just a counter argument. Give my opinion. They give their opinion. Then everyone else can have their say. But yeah, um, it's interesting. I have never, ever, right? <laughs> I say a lot of things I have never, ever said. This is a cure. This is a one fix all. What I say is for some eye floaters, you know, it can help. It can ease. It's helped for me. It's helped for 200 other people, 300 other people. I'll go to Facebook and scan for all my messages. Obviously, I won't do that. Privacy and that. But you know what I mean? I can scan here and say, right, she's been cured of some black eye floaters. Oh, look, this lady's had two eye floaters that have gone. This man. It's like this, you know, there's a lot of positive out there. There's lots, you know, and we can't all be crazy. That's the thing. We can't all be crazy. Science can come and say, medicine can come and say, it's a closed system. But I know what I know. You know what you know. We know our bodies. We know what we're seeing. We know what we're feeling. 
right, I probably am going to get off here soon. But is this a good time for a live stream? Maybe I'll, I'll try it out a bit. I started at 4 p.m. here. So that would have been 6 p.m. for Vasi and Vasari. Most European so are most European countries two hours ahead of us now. Because we no, hold on a minute. Our clocks went. Did your clocks go forward as well? Did everyone's clocks go forward? Are you on one hour ahead? Hopefully I'm on the right time. <laughs> My laptop and phone. We are 5.30 p.m. The clocks did go forward, yeah. The clock, clocks are going forward. Right. I better get off here. But I want to say to everyone that has watched this live stream and to everyone that is here right now and to everyone on the replay, thank you so much. I'm going to do more of this. We're in quarantine. We're in isolation. We've got loads of free time on our hands, right? I'm going to do this. I'm going to get the vlogs done for everyone. Do you know? Because explaining it's okay and all of that. But I want to show you. What does he eat? You know, what does he drink? What does he do? You know, can we try it? Does it work? Does it not work? You know, um, that's what I'm going to do. Lots of live streams. I'm going to work on PDF documents. Supplements list. Food list. Avoid these ingredients. Avoid this. I'm going to get everything organized. I'm going to get the channel organized. You know, the descriptions are going to be a bit better. You know, all the links are going to be there. We're going to work on this and it'll be perfect. Thank you, um, Vasari. Thank you, Vasai. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you. This will be nothing without you. You know, I need you. Do you know, people say I'm giving them support. You're giving me support. Do you know, who, who would I be talking to? <laughs> None of my friends have this. None of my family have this. Just me. <laughs> Amongst all of you. So, yeah, um, yeah, very interesting. <laughs> right, I shall see you in a bit. Thank you all, and uh, keep safe, you know, keep washing the hands, keep that two metre distance. Vitamin C, keep the vitamin C up, keep the zinc up. Have you ever tried fasting? Oh, yeah, I'm always doing that. Powerful, getting the body into ketosis and then getting the body into autophagy. Now, water fasting is amazing, but always do it with an electrolyte powder so you don't get dizzy and have ginger, lemon. The body is powerful. Um, look up someone on YouTube, right? Lauren Lockman. Look up Lauren Lockman on YouTube. Water fast, 21 days on water. He has people of all conditions, tons of conditions. Have a look up Lauren Lockman. Amazing on uh, water fasting and another guy is dr jason fung he does sort of more keto and fasting but lauren lockman have a look up of those two people if you thought of i should put a few in here who i actually watch so you can understand where i get you know a lot of my information from obviously i do a lot of research for medical journals science all that sort of stuff but these are some good, good YouTube channels to check out. Uh, uh, who else should you check out now? Four Dogs Alive, Lauren Lockman. Who else do you watch on YouTube? Natural Remedies, Herbal Remedies. Um, who else do you watch now? I'm probably again. Right. Uh, one hour, 20 minutes. Not bad live stream. Not bad live stream. It's always been good. It's been good to chat. Oh, now I need to get off these digital devices. For about 15 minutes you know look into the distance breathe in some fresh air you know i will be going for a jog later like keeping my running up you know keeping the running up mm. maybe i should do that you know maybe i should do more vlogs so you can see my life and what i do beyond just a guide on here about high flows i'm shocked that more don't do youtube channels like this like um we need more don't we we need more sufferers you know trying things out and recording it and vlogging I thought after being on here for a year, um, I started this channel on the 13th of February 2019. So we had a year to this year, so a year and one month and a few days. I thought more people would start YouTube channels, but they haven't. I hope that they do. I do encourage people to start doing YouTube videos, you know, put out information and all that. I love you all and I shall see you. I never like saying goodbyes, but we have to say goodbye until tomorrow.
I shall see you then. Maybe a bit earlier. I might try a bit earlier in the day. Try a bit earlier in the day. Feel free to message me on Facebook. Quickest response, Facebook. Second quick, second quickest, Instagram. I just like how it's, you know, I like Messenger. It's easy. Instagram's back and forth. Twitter is a bit dot, dot, dot and a bit glitchy. But it's all right. But yeah, Facebook Messenger or Instagram. Yeah, link should be there. Oh, let me get the links for you. One minute. Uh, Facebook. Yeah. We all start freezing now. The links might be down there. They might not be. Um, the Instagram. Come on, load up, load up. That's not Facebook. Mm. My laptop's just slugging along, you know. Mm, mm, mm. It's an old laptop, you know. This is a laptop that I've had for a long time. I've had this laptop for a very, very long time. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Right, I'm going mad. I'm starting singing now. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. I, I've probably got the links in the description anyway. Maybe just set out my password out loud. Huh. Mm. Right. Add me. Feel free to add me. And then the Instagram is just uh, at Cure Eye Flutters. Instagram.com. Feel free to message me on there. Get the links. Oh, how's it going, Naomi? It's been a long time. I'm just about to go, but I will speak to you. Um, how is the VDM project going? It's going very well at the moment. We're getting a lot of good movement and it's going well, sort of building it and establishing it. No research yet, but it's going very well. It's all positive. The team's working good. Um, we've got Dr. Jerry Seabag on board and there's a few other announcements which I can give in the coming days. I can't say too much yet, but positive and all good. How are you doing, Naomi? How are you keeping? Are you well? You know, in the midst of all this COVID-19 and coronavirus, how are your floaters? How are you doing? Yeah. I'll just wait for the reply. I won't just get off here yet. Ah, oh, so sad that you just come in and I was about to go. <laughs> We've been on here for one hour, 23 minutes. It's good, you know, you know, the more and more we chat on here, I remember all my subscribers. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> You know, personally remembering over a thousand different people. That'll be the test next time. Fassi and Vasari can test me. Do I remember where they're from? Got Romania. Uh, to be honest, I got two new flowers. Oh, no. But I have been well. That's the main thing that you're well. Yeah, the flowers are annoying. I've been good. I've been good. No new flowers. But then at the same time, um, not really got rid of any more, but no new ones. But other than that, I've been very well, actually. I've been quite good, you know, not doing much, just chilling out at home, you know, doing the workouts, the push-ups, the sit-ups, you know, doing a little fitness at home, going out for a jog in the evening. Yeah, but it's, we're living in a crazy times now. We've just got to keep positive. In the midst of craziness, we've got to be calm and positive. We don't want to get too crazy. We don't want to get too panicked. Do you know, stress, worry never changes the outcome of anything. Whatever you stress about, whatever you worry about, it's the same outcome. You'll look back and say, ah, oh, the stress and worries cause me more trouble now. You know, it's no good for the body. So, yeah, right. Naomi, thank you for coming in. Everyone that's watched, thank you all. And I will catch you tomorrow, by the way. I'll catch you tomorrow. So I may do an early stream and then I may do a stream at this same time. I might do two streams tomorrow. And then the following day, I'll get the vlogs up and get everything sorted out. Right. I love you all. Take care and I shall see you tomorrow. Signing out. I'm a bit OCD. I'm going to wait till that gets to one hour, 25 minutes. You know, we can't end on 24, can we? We need a rounded number. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you. You have a good day as well. And take care. Have a good day. And um, hope everyone has a great day. Hope everyone has a lovely day. Stay safe. Keep washing your hands. Keep the two meter distance. Get the vitamin C up. Get the zinc up. I shall see you tomorrow. See you later. Take care.